two of them are currently rest down on foot on the sidewalk. Red sweatpants on the black male, white hoodie on the dark jacket. Uh, let's walk in front of my car, please. Why, what happened? I just need to talk to you about something. Do me a favor and take your book bag off. I didn't do that. Okay, we're going to talk about it. Did you have an altercation with somebody a minute ago? On December the 5th, 2023, at approximately 10.55 a.m., officers with the Columbus Division of Police were dispatched on a call of an attempted robbery. A couple of techs were doing maintenance on an ATM machine when they observed three men wearing masks walking toward them. The men called for their armed security guard, who then followed the three men and dialed 911. 911, what's the address for your emergency? It is, um, currently we are, um, Jones Lumber Company. It is West Broad and I can't see the side street. This is, uh, Alan Porter. I am, uh, uh, armed escort for NCR services. We were at the, uh, Chase Bank up the street at 3100 West Broad when three masked individuals approached my tech before um, I arrived on scene. Um, the technician sped off, and we returned back to the site to finish the call, and the box that has the, um, the key to the ATM was open. What you'll see in this video is officers detaining a person who is identified as the suspect of an attempted robbery. The officers then conducted a preliminary investigation and determined that the men who was initially identified as the suspect actually did nothing wrong. This is what happens when you have well-trained and experienced police officers and a suspect who follows lawful commands. How are you doing, guys? Good. What's going on? Um, well, I'm the reporting party. This is the technician from NCR. Okay. We were up at uh, Chase Bank at 3100 West Broad doing a tech technical call when three masked individuals approached my tech. Okay. So he pulled off, sped away, and um, I arrived on scene, uh, went, went ahead and did the drive through, saw the three males walking through the alley. Two of them are currently westbound on foot on the sidewalk. Okay. Red sweatpants on the black male, white hoodie on the dark jacket. You're talking about that guy right there. Hey, you're talking about that guy right there. Yep. All right. That's the black guy. Jack, I'm going to go try to stop him. Do a favor and hold up, man. Uh, let's walk in front of my car, please. Why, what happened? I just need to talk to you about something. Do a favor and take your book bag off. I didn't do that. Okay, we're going to talk about it. Did you have an altercation with somebody a minute ago? No, no, no. I just not at all. Here. Okay. Um, I'm not going to do anything funny or treat you bad or I anything. I have no altercation. I didn't talk to you about That's it. good. We're trying to figure it all out. I mean, in the meantime... I just came out the house. Okay. In the meantime, I'm going to pat you down for weapons. You don't have any weapons or anything, right? I, mean, I probably have a pocket knife. Don't take pocket. I just want to make sure I have it. Okay. I'm going to pat you down. If you have a knife, I'm going to take it from you. We're going to hang out. What's your first name? Jacob. I know, Jacob. But my thing is, I didn't have no altercation, so I don't know why okay. we're even well, having this conversation. They, they described you perfectly. Red, Who described you? Red yeah. pants, black jacket, white hoodie, okay? Who did that? I don't know. We're going to get to the bottom of this. Hey, ask her. I just walked in there. I just came from there, and I walked okay. down the street, and I just came back. I was on the phone. Okay. That was it. We'll get into all that in a minute, all right? But I'm going to hang on to you for a minute, okay? Yeah, I'm gonna, but... I'm going to treat I, you as straight as possible. I appreciate it, but I don't understand this. Like, I didn't have no altercation with anybody. I didn't even talk to nobody. Okay. Well, all I know is what I know so far, and I'll, I'll give you more information as soon as I have it, okay? I'm just going to set your phone down. I didn't even talk to nobody. Okay. 
Can you do this? Well, I think they're saying it happened before that. No, I just, just put your hands together for me. I just came out the house. I didn't even have an altercation. Just try to relax. You can even actually do that with just walking away. Who is he? Is he a friend of yours? Does he normally carry a knife in his pocket? Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna hang on to that. Just hang tight. I didn't do nothing. Okay. I promise um, you, or my kids, I didn't do nothing. Well, no altercation or nothing, nothing. I just, can you please ask her? I just walked out of the store and walked down the street and came right back. Well, from what they're saying, it might have happened before you walked. No, out of the store. I didn't have. I didn't have. It, it could be a complete case of mistaken identity too. I didn't okay, have. But they they pointed at you. Pointed they at they me? described you, and then and I said, "You're talking about that guy right there." And he goes, "Yeah." Who? Is so that I came guy? Back to you. It was over. They were over on Silver. I've never been on Silver. You were just by there. You walked over past it just a second I ago. I walked straight. You were at the bus stop. I was walking. I went past the bus stop. I didn't go nowhere down Silver. I know. They they said they followed you there. Uh, they couldn't have. But you were there. I mean, they, please right? ask me. Please ask me. Well, we're going to get to all of that. And in the meantime, I'm going to have you sit down in the back, okay? Well, You're not I, in touch. I shouldn't have to. I know, but I you are. I didn't do nothing. Hey, listen. Can you, you, you're detained. You have, I have a legal reason to detain you, okay? I didn't do nothing, though. We're going to get to that. But in the meantime, you're just going to sit down and relax. Okay. Back. Leave her back there. Okay, let's go over this other call. Sir, I didn't do nothing, bro. Can you please go ask that woman? I didn't have no altercation with nobody. We're going to get to the bottom of it. I just went to the bank and came back this way. Do you have any receipts or anything? I got my bank statement on my phone. Okay. Right? On, my, on the phone that's sitting over there. Okay, I'll put it in the car so it doesn't get wet. I want you to um, see that I was at the bank at a certain time. We'll, we'll, get time to, we'll get to all that in a moment. Uh, what's your name again? I shouldn't have to do that because I didn't have an altercation. I know my rights. I shouldn't have to do that because I didn't have no altercation with nobody, sir. Okay, well, I promise you, I went to the... You can see my bank statements on my phone. I went to the bank. Mm -hmm. I walked here in the, in the time frame. Mm -hmm. You can ask her. I went in there. I smoked a, half of a cigarette, gave it to my friend, walked inside, bought a popsicle, and then as soon as that... I started eating the popsicle, we started walking down the street. Mm -hmm. And I walked over towards the, um, I was going to walk over to Kroger's, and then I turned around and came back, and my dude, me and my dude was walking, and then I seen you two. We didn't have, a, we didn't interact with anybody. Okay. And, and before this, I, I, I came from Oral. What's your first name again? Jacob. But Jacob. I, I, but Jacob. My thing is, for a moment, everybody that I've ever arrested has told me they didn't do it, okay? Okay, and it's I'm not that I don't believe you, I'm it's just I don't have... I'm trying to show you... Yeah, we'll, get, we'll my, get to all my that. statements. We'll get to all that. I'm, I'm trying to show you my, where I was at, at, at the bank, mm -hmm. came here, you can ask her about a popsicle. What's your last thing. name, Jacob? I didn't do nothing to nobody. Okay. If that's true, we're going to just kick you out of the car. Right. That's the black guy. Hey, did he... So who are the techs? Were these... The, this is the tech right over here. Okay, I need to talk to him. Yes, sir. Hi, how's it going? What happened? So, we were called to that site to do a repair on the ATM, mm -hmm. and uh, when I was waiting off site for my guard to arrive, I uh, saw three individuals uh, wearing on. masks approaching the ATM area, and uh, two stayed back while the other one approached, and uh, so I left the site, they were close to me, and called my guard. The guard arrived on site, uh, made visual contact with uh, the individuals and said they walked what backward they, back did they, they ever through. say anything to you they never said anything to us but the, the indication was the ATM's down and then they were over there messing with it and then uh, when we uh, verified that they were off site we came up to the ATM our lockbox with keys was hanging wide open and it looked like somebody had, had opened it just left you know the keys were missing uh, so it's required for us to make a police report, right. call you guys out, and uh, fill out all but of But you don't know that these folks stole it, you didn't see them do anything? We don't know that anything. they did it. So they just they happened were, to be over there? Well, yes. So they, they just happened to be over there, but the suspicion is that those keys were there the last time somebody worked on that ATM yesterday. Yes. And then masked individuals approached the ATM. We did not see them open okay. that box or access And it. they never spoke to you? They, they never, never spoke to us. indicated no. they had a weapon? Nothing like that? No. What's up, buddy? So, this tech just flat out got scared because he saw three homeless people. And then he basically fled away and called his security. Um, he has, there's no indication that these guys are the ones that stole anything, and they never even spoke to him. 
Okay, I will go for this guy. Alright, I'm gonna come back and let you out of the car. My buddy just... Let, I'll, I'll tell you about it when I get you out of the car. You'll be happier there, right? Come on out. I understand what you're nice. saying. I understand what you're saying. I'm not a liar. And I know you don't know yeah. me from Adam. I don't know you. But my thing is this. Man. Here's, the, here's what happened. Some guys at the bank were working on the ATM machine. And some of their stuff got stolen. And they looked up and they saw you and the guy you were walking with. And they, they flagged down their security guard. And then the security guard called in and said that they were robbed. And that they identified you as the suspect. When the officer went up and talked to them, he found out that that was not the case. But still, I had to grab you. You know what I mean? Because if you had robbed somebody, I, I can't just let I you understand go. That. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, well, that's the thing. That's the thing about knowing your rights is you don't want to give up your phone in that situation. No. You don't want an officer poking around your car. No, I don't. But it's so, this. But I'm, I'm protecting your rights by not I allowing you to do that, okay? I appreciate it, but out of respect for you, yeah. I'm not going to lie to you because of your badge. You feel me? Yeah. And, I, and I'm willing to, to do that. You know what I'm saying? I know. Just know that I was looking out for you. I appreciate it. Let's see if I can. I, your phone fell down in my seat. Uh, Jack called me and said okay. the guys freaked out for no reason. There was no robbery. Oh, okay. They just saw these guys walk in and were like, hey, they stole our stuff. I just set your bag on top of my car there. Yep. I didn't go through it. I, I gave you all your stuff back, right? That I grabbed. Okay. Thank you so much. You need to go anywhere? You need me to give you a ride? All right, man. Sorry about the trouble, but you understand.